Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a heck of a super hell of a long time. And I actually have an excuse for that. So I've been busy working on building a house. Really exciting. Uh, I hope to share with you guys the details of it very soon. So please stick around. I have not given up on you guys. So please do not give up on me. Car stuff is coming to the channel as well. Uh, like for example, the one that I have behind me today in this video. This is a 1990 Honda Accord. 1990 Honda Accord. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about this car. So DJ approached me with it. He's like, hey dude, I'm building this sick underdog Honda Accord. I'm like, cool, tell me more about it. And he was like, it's got T37s. I said, bet, let's do a video. Here we are today, live on location in the Shark Works parking lot. They do badass portions, by the way. Yeah. And by the way, we have a Sharks Work cat joining us today in this party. Check it out, we got all the essentials. So again, stay posted to the channel, more car content hopefully coming soon. And let me know as well, in the comments below if you like this format of a video. Because of this whole house project dealio, I had to cut budgets like crazy. I'm eating ramen, I'm eating Taco Bell every day. I'm sometimes skipping meals. I'm sometimes skipping showers. That includes, unfortunately, cutting some of the production budgets for these videos. But, however, I think this is far more influential, I think, right, for a YouTube format. You don't want some like overproduced B-roll, drone shot footage, whatever right you want something that's like in your face grassroots you see the man that is behind the car you see his dna you see what his story is about you know his life story you even can get his credit card number by the end of the video all right you know the man through and through all right so this is like much more personal in my opinion even though we don't have a drone so that's all i gotta say that's my pedestal let's get to the video let me go behind the camera introduce you to dj in just a second here and check out the sick 1990 Honda Accord. What's up, dude? How you doing? Hey, what's your last name, dude? Uh, Beck. Hey, don't don't disclose your last name on the internet, bro. Hey, why'd you ask me? Well, dude? you just about you just been doxed. Hey, well you can cut. Is that. it doxed or doxed? I think it's doxed. You just dox yourself, hey, dude. You can cut that. I'm not cutting right? that. Hey, but real quick before we get into the car, let me introduce how we met. All right, I've known this guy for a couple years now, a few years actually. Yeah. We met at dog park. Yeah. I know that kind of, uh, that sounds kind of sus, but let me explain. I was rolling with some homies to the dog park to go on a drive. I think I had my FD back then, right? It's been yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a minute, dude. Yep. And then this guy was with his dog named Shinobi. I'm like, dude, roll with us. And then now here you are. Yeah, actually, that was the first time I met anybody with my NSX. That was my first little kick it. I was Ooh, just at the dog right. park. I was always doing stuff solo when I got it. And then I see the FD pull up and then a mic with the Porsche pull up. And I was That's like, right. oh, okay, we got some supercars over here. You know, Not Japanese. supercars. Well, hey, oh, you know okay, what? sure. To me, you know, I mean, we're coming well, from well, you're, okay, so it's a guy that had an NSX at the time, right. dude. Yes, exactly. Yo, right. you got to chill with that, dude, you know? <laughs> well, anyways, I was like, let's see what these guys are doing. And then you offered to... Have me go out on a drive with you. And I was like, please don't steal my car. I don't know you. You passed the test. Now here you are, bro. And by the way, we are not looking at his sick NSX. He does have one. Your second NSX, actually. Yep. Dude's balling. <laughs> Segue right into the car then, dude. What yeah, you got? Shit, dude. This is my 1990 Honda Accord. Um, this was the car that I used as a reference point. Every time someone was trying to battle me about, you know, how Hondas are garbage, I'd be like, bro, look at the 1992 Honda Accord. Why do you see you. those things driving around out there still, you know? You doing like rap so, battles with Hondas? Well, no, nah, man, I mean, sorry, I'm from the East Bay, you know, maybe that's just how we get down over. Represent the 510. Anyways, yeah, so anyways, we're out <laughs> here. <laughs> what makes this such a special underdog car that you think everyone should notice more and get more attention to? Yeah, well, first off, it's still a light little Honda, which everyone knows is the way to go, but it's also double wishbone, manual transmission, and it's way more rigid than a Del Sol. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I had a Del Sol and it was fun to smash around in, but the rigidness of this car and it being about 500 pounds lighter than a 370Z, they also, with this fourth generation Accord, they kind of went ham with it. And it's got a lot of interesting stats that other Accords don't have, like a, a 17 gallon gas tank. It's got glass headlights, it'll make cars with glass headlights. And look how good, look at that. Oh my even pitted, God, bro. dude, that's so clear. They're not pitted, bro. I actually tinted the uh, blinker lights here, and by my surprise, it actually opened up this giant mouth. Dude, that's illegal. It's kind of got this like S2000. It's not illegal, bro. Oh, okay, you cool. You can't prove it. You got a lot of black and white going on. It's like black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. That's a lot of stacks, right? There's a lot of stacks, right? There are a lot of layers, man. It's like a Big Mac. <laughs> is that corduroy? What is that material, man? You know, actually, Walk me through I think this. It is corduroy. Bro, I never thought of it. Dude, it's, it's corduroy, corduroy, huh? Yeah, dude. It's like my pants. Yeah. Well, uh, Yo, are you gonna put like a racing bucket in this? Actually, yeah. The next things I want to do is a harness bar hey, and seats. You know what you should do when you put the seats in? Take the material off your seat right now and turn it into pants or a jacket. Huh? 
I like it. Dude. I like it. Oh, look at this automatic seatbelt. Yeah. What's this gizmo? It's wizardry? amazing, bro. And I just learned something today about this. Okay, talk this to me. This little red dot yeah. matches up with the red dot inside, so you know which what way it goes, bro. Oh, I, never, I never knew that, bro. Yo, more details. Check this out. Car's off. Keys are out. Okay. I need to know what time it is. Push this little thing down. Wow, it's 6 Bro, Hey, what do you know about this rally mirror, dude? Is that the wink mirror? It is. I do know about it. Yep, it's $25 on Amazon. I love it. There's, Check this out. Okay. Sun visors, all four, and the front lip, 60 bucks shipped on eBay, bro. Let's talk about money real quick. How much did you buy this car for? $2,000 from the original owner with 135,000 on the Was it like clock. an old lady? It was a family of old ladies. <laughs> She's not exactly... No, what am I saying? She's totally street legal. This is a California smog passing vehicle, dude. Okay, the only thing that's like not smog legal is your strut bar. It's blue. No, nah, dude, that'll that's pass a violation, on, bro. brother. You can get the sniffer on that thing. I guarantee you to pass. What happened? My little distributor wire fell out of its little thing there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, is that stock? These little clips? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Bro, bro, look at this one, bro. My family, our Civic. How old school is that, dude? That is some weird period correct strange shit. It's a shit. little creepy, but yeah. It's, it's, it's a little dope. creepy. It's, who are those little rabbit? Dude, that dude. Yeah. Looks, this one here looks nuts, but it's cool. <laughs> so this is a 12-inch... Good old Cedars Link, bro. Get on that, bro. Whoa! If you guys don't have a Cedars Link, what is that? In the woods, dude. Bro, what what is that? I don't know. It's some very special. Two big ass license plate lights. Yeah, bro. Oversized. What's going on? They really want you to see what your license plate is. Hey, man. With safety Honda, first. You don't want to get pulled over for having a non-visible license plate. They want to make sure because you're gonna get pulled over for a lot of things. I hear Honda. you. I that hear you. Can't be one of them. Can't be one of them. So why are you bending your license plate like a JDM, dude? So. uh just want to have style. No, <laughs> oh, dude. Right, man. All right, dude. I'll give it to you, man. So, yeah, this was a program Honda was doing right when this car came out where they wanted to support the workers of America. If you spend extra money, you get this badge on your car, and I think it, the, the money goes to, like, tipping the guys that built your car. I'm not exactly sure. <clears throat> Wait, this was built in America? I believe it was assembled in Ohio. This door car is pretty damn nice. I'm not going to lie. That's Rhino Liner. What? Yeah. Why? Because I just wanted oh, something wow. sturdy. You and did this? this? That, yeah. Bro. <laughs> because it had some fabric on it that was just falling. It looked like crap. All right, and, okay. Uh, funny thing you told me about this car when I when I brought it up is you said, man, that car was made with a ruler. And oh, yeah, dude, it's all straight lines, that man. That really stuck with me. I think that's fucking hilarious. Dude. Yo, this car <laughs> does not drink alcohol. It does not do any drugs. No. It does not party. You know why? It's true. straight. Yeah, dude, got it, dude. We're not bottoming out. I'm at a tasteful ride height. That's yep. for you, my dog, because I want you to drive this thing, and I don't want you to scroll. Yo, I'll drive it. Bottom out on it and then tell me my car sucks. So I. Bro, I'm about so, to chirp third in this thing. It's got. It's a. Look at that, dude. That's. What is that? A Samba shoe? Uh, uh, nah, bro. Uh, it's a booze nip. Tight clearances, too, on your uh, caliper, oh, my guy. That ain't nothing, bro. And I've seen Hondas that are just like, you couldn't even slide a piece of paper in there. Oh, thing, okay. Right? okay. How many wheel locks does a guy need? Damn, you really don't want your wheels stolen. I got the like the, the bearing gorilla, the oh. original Honda one, and some other gorilla nuts. This Bro. is uh, the car that coined the term the most stolen car in America, dude. Oh my so, God. I'm like pretty paranoid about this car. <laughs> so, Why is it so easy to steal? You just stick a screwdriver into the ignition and just pull oh, for it. For real? Yeah, dude. Dude. Yeah, and then when you do that, they leave it somewhere and then you got to fix that. And it's a pain in the ass to fix. I've got kill switches and I've got the steering wheel lock with the ball bearing hub. You take your wheel off, obviously. And I block it in with my girlfriend's shit. You block shit it in. Memory. Dude, let's say put a low jack on it. It's got fucking air tags in every compartment. Oh my I, god. Dude, I put air tags in my wheel, then I put the tire on, filled it up. No, you didn't. You can't even you take it off. No, you did not. Bro. Yeah, try it then. Are you serious? Well, first of all, I can't even take it off because you have like 50 locks on it. <laughs> yeah. Is this your daily? It's my daily. Okay. I used to have a Honda CRZ, and it was it was boring as hell, bro. A CRZ? Bro, that's a chick's car, man. Man, everything I have is a chick's car, bro. Your NSX? I mean, except for that. But okay. still, that's arguable too. Some chicks do drive that. I do know a couple. I don't know any chicks that drive this. Any chicks that did drive this back in the day. There's always more stories from more times, bro. More times, more stories all day, dude. <laughs> so, hey, what you got back there in the, the back of your uh, driver's seat? What's that? Reserved? Oh, yeah, that's a, uh, that's, a that's a a ramen sign. Sometimes I throw that on my dash. Ooh. Or, no, actually, sometimes I reserve parking spots with it. I just take it and I put it out front. Make sure I can save it spot works? myself. Yeah, people see that and they're like, oh, hi. You know what happens when you pretend to do that in the U.S.? You put that sign down here, someone's going to stomp on it or steal it and park there they'll anyway. They'll tag that shit. They'll tag it, rip it up, and then park the car Dang, over there anyway. disrespectful, man. We got we to gotta change over here, dude. Dude, it's a culture that? thing, man. You got to eat more man. ramen and then just bow, just like Bushido. You want to see my, my JDM stance? Okay. 
That's sick. Is that how you poop? That's how I levitate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bad. Hey, you gotta, you gotta elevate and levitate over your haters. Oh, dude, stop keying your... Oh, okay. This is your... This is, what? Hey, why don't have to bend this way? What's going on here with this thing? This is a... What do we got here, dude? What is this? a car antenna, dude. You ever seen one of those? Okay, yeah, but why'd you have to, like, actuate it with a key? Oh, uh, well, the motor's broken. Well, it's because oh. I have an aftermarket deck. I don't know what's going on with it, but it doesn't work, and I just gotta... What, what happens is someone tries to mug me, right? Okay. I get out. Take, take this thing key, off. And I go... <laughs> Remember how people used to do that? Dude, back that's some good technique, man. You've been practicing? Dude, remember it's you like nunchucks, back to your bro. Shit and you'd be like, oh, someone took my antenna. That's because someone was defending bro. themselves. Bro, hey, yo, you know what you should do? When you snap it off, this end will be sharp. Use it as like a like a oh, like yeah. a knife. Yeah, oh, yeah. stab them. I yeah, poke them with it. I can also use a boba straw too. If I take off this piece, I can just. Like... Yeah, what are you gonna do? You're gonna like put the boba on the floor and drink out of it? Yeah, bro. I'm that short. Next level. What? Okay, yo, I wasn't making a short joke, but you had to go there. So oh, well, you're like five foot nine, dude. Chill. All right, I'll take. Yep. Bet. That's it. Confidence. That's it. Dude, it's all about perspective, illusion, dude. This is my uh, my first steering wheel I ever bought. It's got a Rastafarian stitch that on is it. It's clean. It's a personal. Personal, okay. Yep, it's been through a lot. And it's still then, in good shape. Uh, it's not like worn down at all. Not too bad. They can't buy off you? No, no. How much? Absolutely not. Okay, wow. Absolutely not. How that's much? That's my first shift knob. That's an integrity. 500 bucks. Here. What? You just said absolutely I mean, not. That's a good deal. No, yeah. oh my <laughs> God. Dude, your board is not worth a lot, bro. Oh, I man. I tech after that. Oh, 200 bucks. Nah, bro. Now nah, we're done. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're still stopping at 500. If you'll give me that, I'll, I'll hand I'll give you 450, bro. <laughs> Think about it. Let me know. Yeah. You got my number. I remember when I was a little kid, before I even had a car, my friend was like, hey, I'm going to go to Acura Parts and get a shift knob. I was like, okay. I went up there, and that fool behind the counter quoted this full 180 bucks for a shift knob. And okay. I didn't have a car yet. I was like, oh my God. And he actually paid for it. And then fast forward a couple years later, I bought my own, and now I'm the idiot. But, dude, you get influenced by other people flexing, huh? Absolutely, bro. Back, dude, <laughs> dude that's, that's the way to do back, it. Bro. You flex back. Yeah, you have to. Dude, hey, what's your favorite movie ever? The first Ninja Turtles movie. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> the next two after that, they're so bad, bro. But that first one... Okay, so is this so good because the last two are so bad? Or is it just no, so good it's, by itself? It's legit, bro. bro. It's a legitimate movie, bro. All right, Go cool, back man. and watch the first TMNT. I think it was 89 or 90. 90, bro! This was the year, bro! So much happened in 90, bro. Oh my the god, fact this that guy. These are so solid from the 90s, bro. Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> Shit, still works, bro. Dude. This car, rich, 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 just goes, dude. Dude. That was a special time in Japan, bro. How did you ever. Ninja Turtles, ninjas, Japanese, bro. Everything from Japan in the 90s, dude. I'm All telling right. You. Go crazy. Let's go. What else? Uh, fucking. Dude, that's my list, bro. Dude, fuck it up. Let's no go. Hope, it's your dude. showtime right now. Go go 90s. Go hard. Dude, we got. We got. <laughs> <laughs> what else, dude? No, Golden dude. Eye, son. Yeah, yeah Golden Eye, dude. Ah, man. Yo. Damn, I don't. We got Sega Genesis out here, dude. We got. Yes, sir. We had Atari. Fucking, we had MacGyver. We had Godzilla. Yeah. We had Man. Yeah. We had Garfield. Okay. We had, Woo. We got our cores, dude. dude. I'm having my. Dude, I don't, <laughs> That's I don't, it. I don't Talk know. to me about your suspension because we have not covered that. Yeah, cool. We're talking about Teenage Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtles and all that stuff, but yeah. no suspension stuff. Sure, yeah. So um, I did have some TN advances on here, but. Dude, it's Tane. Tane advances. I don't know what it is, actually. Hey, thanks, I, don't know. I actually don't know what it is. I need to, is no. it Brad or Brid? I mean, it's whatever, dude. As long as you know what I'm talking about, right, bro? Okay, is it Mugen or is it Mugen? It's it's Mugen. So it's neither. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to say Takada? Takada? Takada. Takada. Hey, do you know how to say, bro, here I got one. Do you know, do you know how to say Tatsu Maki Senpukiyaku? Tatsu Maki Senpukiyaku? Almost, dude. So yeah, I got uh, function informed coilovers because I just needed to not spend fifteen hundred dollars on fortune autos <laughs> so i spent a little less on some uh because i had Yo, man, no one's judging out here it's all good my wealth out judge if free I, zone if i if i went all out on the coilovers and i wouldn't be able to get my motor mounts you know who's judging them right now though that cat i know he's that been, cat he's been he's wearing a tuxedo he's still Fancy. there dude you got hey we make that jacket make him one too right? all right we'll be back we'll be back we'll be back it's got an innovative innovative traction bar to eliminate my radius rods very shitty piece of this car up front connecting to the front um lower yeah. subframe uh, energy bushings this is faster than s2000 dead ass 100 percent, bro see me with dude, you're gonna run the fade you're about to run the fade on s2000s we out here dude shark works meet me at tonight Tonight. You're fast in the sh- okay. Chill, Tonight chill, when chill. This chill. Video starts, we're at their oh, HQ. Posted? We're at their HQ. Hey, see me. Hey, just stay here. Sharkworks. Just wait here all actually, night. Check it just, out. Just this camp is here. Actually going in there tomorrow, bro. For what? Sharkworks Accord, dude. 
What are you gonna do? What are they gonna do to you? I'm getting a what's a Porsche engine? Uh, <laughs> fucking I don't know. Like it's flat six, dude. Yeah, I'm getting some crazy. Four point oh. You're getting a four point oh. Yes, sir. Hey, Porsches, bro. Yeah, that's what's up. Well, no, man. Yeah, bro. You it's feeling it hard, too, bro? It's huh? too. It's too go to, man. It's too go to. Too good, man. Bro, it's, it's too. Good. It's too good. It's too good, bro. Bro, it's a total package. I right? know, bro. Right? Hey, you cannot speak blasphemy about know, Porsches in the parking lot of Sharkworks. Yeah, That's not allowed. Not, not, hey, All right, you will get I'm struck sorry. down. I'm sorry. All right, well, you, you know we're on like CCTV right now by Sharkworks people because we're in the parking lot. I'm sorry about that. You about guys. to like hey, it. I'm sorry about that Sharkworks. I'm sorry yeah. about that cap, the tuxedo. Too, bro, you got to apologize to the viewers too for just. I'm sorry, all of you guys. For what? Four viewers of you that like. All two of them, bro. Actually, everyone's probably mad at me because there's like no Honda guys on your channel. No, I'm dude, there. Okay, hey, don't plug my YouTube channel, please. What is it? Uh, check out Sleeper Honda on YouTube. <laughs> I bet you there are more Honda people on my channel or this channel than there are Porsche guys. I think. They say everyone's a Honda guy, man. Deep down, they all right. They say that there's more Honda guys than there are. Well, yeah, living dude. organic material. On a, this more than atoms in the universe. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Just take it. Thanks for shooting the video. Hey, didn't you have a car bra on this thing? No. Nah, no. Nah, okay, that's no, whack, right? Yo, but I'm trying to be like 90s, like, you know, isn't that like a 90s thing? Nah, dude, I don't like that stuff, man. Okay, I feel, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. just like, I gotta protect my shit, just I use feels. your shit, bro. What's your favorite thing about this car? My favorite thing about this car is, uh, honestly, how, how it drives. It's amazing how it drives. You bro, would not believe it. This I... is not a sports car. Hey, man, because you talk so much, we did not have to drive this car, dude. You're talking about like just VCRs and shit and like, I don't know what you're talking like jackets. Like we do not have time to drive the car. Hey, what makes it that we don't have enough time? Okay, right now <laughs> my phone, before I even edit this, it says 40 minutes. That's what, that's why. Dude, you had me out here talking for 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes talking about jackets and just whatever else. Dude, yeah, hey, dude. Dude, that ate up a lot of time, bro. I don't think I can do any more. You gotta shut the video off, dude. Yeah, this, I gotta go, dude. I got a couple more questions though. You better make it quick, dude. All right, dude. What, are you about to slide? No, hell no. You gotta drive this thing, bro. I can't. It's 40 minutes. I don't, we don't have time in this video. Are you gonna make a part two? Alright. Only if the viewers like it. This is an S2K smashing Ninja Turtles watching ass 90s vehicle. Yo, come see this and man. S2000, pull up. I might just pull a Jesse and go back home after that. Ooh, yo. <laughs> that's when you get like... That's when you get narked on, bro. <laughs> So this is a non VTEC 130 horse. What? It's a non VTEC? Yeah, dude. Why am I here? From the Honda guy. What? What the fuck? Dude, see, that's the thing about being a Honda guy. Is you're I just shot a 44 minute video. It's not a VTEC? It's a non VTEC. Bro, you, 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 oh my God. The you, real Honda guys? You are bamboozled the me, bro. You have the underdogs. You try to put yourself at a deficit beyond the deficit. Oh you know what my. I'm you don't even have an NSX, probably. You know what? Who I, are you, man? I uh, told you this video is getting a little long. I got to Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's sick. Uh, Say hello to all the all the viewers, uh, all two, three, four, five of them. Smash the like. Smash the like. Comment in like there. and subscribe. I'm gonna post some comments too. Hey, yeah, say it like that. Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. No, like and subscribe. Like Guy Fairy. I uh, actually, I never really. What? Nah. What do you mean nah? <laughs> no, I, don't, I can't. Diners, yeah, drivers, can't and do dives, it. dude. You gotta say it like that. Come on. Just like and subscribe. This no, no, no. You gotta say like Guy Fairy, dude. dude I, I, I don't even. That's the the chef, what? right? Yeah, the chef. Yeah, it's a chef. Is he the guy with the bleach tip? Yes. Oh shit. The guy he likes cars too, man. Oh, gotta say yeah. like him. Like and subscribe. That's pretty good. Do do more. I actually don't even know what the fuck. Oh, you know, what I don't the watch the TV or nothing. Go <laughs> to my YouTube channel. You should come check out my shit. Stop plugging, dude. It's chill. Sorry. Dude. We already plugged it early, dude. Right, Stop. Sorry, it's right. in the description. All right. It's chill. Relax, dude. Um. What are you doing, dude? <sighs> what? I'm gonna have to go. Check this out. <laughs> you like that? Just drive like that. You drive like that. Go home like that. <laughs> what the fuck? This is how. This is, oh my god. Yo, that's two thousand people. Be scared of this man right here. I will take your car, dude. Come pink it up, and I will come gap. Okay, Jesse. See you. In the Peace. In the future. Yo, roll out hard, dude. You in the Mob that hard, dude. Yo, ah. peace, bro. Peace. Okay, well, that's a video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, guess I'll see you guys next time.